Oh, where's my beauty blender? There it is. Who's this? Molly. <gasps> Hi. Oh. I just want really sharp cheekbones, okay? Hey guys, today I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I really, really like this makeup look and I just wanted to record something more glam and, you know, a little bit more holiday-ish. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I have already moisturised my face using the Nivea Soft Moisturiser. So I'm going to go straight in with my eyes. So I'm going to bring you closer so I can start. Okay, so I'm going to start priming my eyes using my Maybelline Concealer, the Age Rewind. And I'm just going to blend that in. Then I'm just going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and set that with the colour White Chocolate. This is just for a smooth base so I can start putting my eyeshadow down. Now I'm gonna start with my Urban Decay Naked palette. I'm gonna be starting with putting down the color Naked using my fluffy blending brush, just to put into my crease and to blend out. I'm gonna take the color Buck which is a slightly more darker ash brown and I'm going to carry on putting that into my crease and now I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to really pack it on on the corners of my eyes I'm going to take a slightly smaller blending brush and I'm going to put that into my colour Creep which is just a black but with some shimmer I'm going to tap that excess off so I don't go in too crazy and I'm just going to put that into the corners of my eyes taking a little bit every time so I don't put too much. I'm just gonna bring that out, slightly blend it on my outer V. So once you've really blended that in and it's the way you want it, we can go in with our concealer which I'm taking my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I'm just putting that on my hand. Then I'm taking a Real Techniques Detail Brush and I'm going to dip that in my concealer and then we can start with the half cut crease and panning that out on my lid. blending that on my lid a little bit so it's not a really harsh line okay so when you're happy with the shape that you have you can go in with your lid color so I'm gonna take the color half baked on a flat flat shadow brush and I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid where I put the concealer. After that, I'm gonna take another gold eyeshadow that I have, my L'Oreal Single Shadow. This one looks a little bit more intense, but 
I'm gonna take the same shadow brush, dip it in, and I'm actually gonna wet my brush. Yes, I like that. Now I am going to highlight my brow bone using another fluffy brush. And I'm taking the colour Virgin in this naked palette. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. And then afterwards I'm going to fill my eyebrows in. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so now with my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette using the colour Triple Fudge. Then I'm going in with my Brow This Way kit. And I'm going to use the wax just to set it all in place. Now for onto my face, I'm going with my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I put that on my hand and I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush just to put that and spread it around my face sometimes I feel like when I put it on my beauty blender it soaks up before it's like all the way around my face so I've decided to start spreading it around my face before now I'm going in with my beauty blender and I'm just blending that all out. This dries really quick, I don't know why I didn't do that quicker. Okay, I think I'm good. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. really really like the applicator on this. Now I'm just blending that in. I actually really 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 like this concealer. I do wish though that they had it in a lighter shade because my collection one is a lot lighter so it's like a lot better to highlight. Like this is a great concealer but I like using my collection one to highlight as well. Now just a little bit I'm going to go underneath my eyes with my collection concealer because this is a lot lighter and I do like having my dark circles completely covered since they're not that great. I don't sleep. Now to set that really quickly I'm going to go in with my infallible 24 hour matte powder underneath my eyes because I put quite a lot of concealer underneath and I don't want it to crease. I'm just going to put that down my nose, basically everywhere where I put concealer. I don't want to set my face with the powder but I'm just going to take a stippling brush and just brush it around my face because I usually put it around my cheeks because it blends out the contour and bronzer way better so I don't get a patchy contour it just gives me a better base to work on if I put powder all over my face so the next thing I'm going to do is contour so I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette using my Real Techniques what is this? Oh, so yeah, it's a contour brush. 
So my contour brush, and I'm just going to contour my cheeks. Not too strongly, but I probably will end up doing them too strongly. So I'm going to leave it at that and I actually wanted to bake underneath my cheekbones. I'm going to use my collection Sheer Loose Powder. I haven't actually used this yet. So I'm just going to use that on my Beauty Blender and just carve out. That doesn't seem very even. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna leave my face like this. And I'm just gonna take my blush, my Rimmel Lasting Finishing Soft Color. I don't know, I'm taking my blush <laughs> um, in the color Pink Rose on a tiny little stippling brush. I'm just going to put that on my face. I look like Father Christmas. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to go back into my eyes. So I'm going to bring you in and stuff. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes but I'm going to speed it up. Now that my eyelashes are curled, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I'm not going to completely cover my eyelashes because I actually want to put false lashes on so I'm not going to go completely crazy I'm going to do my bottom lashes okay now I'm going to take my eyelashes and these are actually Primark <laughs> um, I've never really used these and I saw them and I was like, well, I'm not going to lose anything but a pound, so I might as well give them a go. I'm going to do this off camera because, God help me, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I'll be right back. Now that they're on, I'm actually going to go in with my eyeliner because I never, ever, ever, ever put eyelashes on and not like put a little bit of eyeliner on the corner or like at the end because like... Honestly, I do believe that I like having eyelashes, eyeliner is so important because the band kind of gets hidden if you put some eyeliner on and it just kind of disguises it a little bit more into, into looking less fake. And that, I think, is done. I think I'm just gonna smoke out my bottom lashes, just a little bit, a little bit of black. I'm just gonna quickly brush this away because it's been on here for ages. You know what, that's kind of made my face a little bit yellow. Well, what can you do? Okay, and now I have two more things to do. Um, I'm using my Jouer highlighter in the colour Citrine. And I'm just going to take I'm just going to take this contour brush. Just highlight my cheekbones. And now the last thing is my lips. And I'm gonna actually go in with my two soft matte lip creams. One of them's from NYX and one of them is a collection. Um, this color is in Copenhagen and this, I don't even know, oh, okay, rosy. This is rosy and this is Copenhagen. I'm gonna go in with my color Copenhagen because I do want a dark lip, but 
I don't want my lip to be too dark so I'm going to go in after with the red just to create a little bit of an ombre effect. Okay, and that is the finished look. I really, really enjoyed doing this makeup tutorial. Um, I don't know, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I think that's all. I think, yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.